Hey guys, I'm Jason Rasidlo, reporting from Huntington Place in downtown Detroit for the 2023 Detroit Auto Show. Come along with me as I check out some of the cool new cars, trucks, SUVs, and even flying vehicles. Yes, flying vehicles. The 2024 Jeep Gladiator made its premiere at the Auto Show. It will be available in four models, Sport, Willys, Mojave, and Rubicon. The refreshed truck comes with the new seven slot grill, a new 12.3 inch touchscreen, and updated wheel options. So with the new 2024 Gladiator, we're adding more capability, we're adding more refinement, more technology with a new standard 12.3 inch touchscreen radio and more safety, including standard side curtain airbags and uh, standard adaptive cruise control and forward collision warning on the Sport S models and above. Corvette sports car called the E-Ray. It comes equipped with the 6.2 liter small block engine producing 495 horsepower and an electric drive unit producing another 160 horsepower. The E-Ray will be the quickest Corvette ever, going from zero to 60 miles per hour in just 2.5 seconds. Pricing starts at $102,900 before destination charges. Startup company Jewel Labs told me more about their robotic arm-enabled charging station system for autonomous vehicles. Their solution is perfect for rental cars and fleets, such as delivery vehicles. These fast DC charging cables are extremely hard and they are very heavy. So this is a sort of ideal situation uh, for ADA charging. But this solution is actually designed for um, automated charging for uh, autonomous vehicles, like either autonomous uh, 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 ride-sharing uh, services like Waymo or Cruise, uh, it's ideal for automating charging for car rental companies. You know, uh, car rental companies are electrifying their fleet, and then you know, if you have to move a couple hundred vehicles per day, uh, you know, you have to charge them. It's actually quite simple. You know, from your mobile app, you know, you would initiate the charge. So operation is very smooth, predictable, and 100% reliable. So you know, as you can see now, it's actually inserting the charging connector into charging inlet on the car, you know, it's going to charge it obviously, you know, we are shortening this cycle, but in our model, you know, we guarantee 100 miles in 10 minutes. Another company called NIFT, N-I-F-T, showed off their QB self-driving shuttle. It features an all-electric range of 30 miles with the top speed of 11 miles per hour. We started it as a challenge, me and my kids, to build a driverless shuttle in 100 days from scratch. So we designed, built, and demonstrated a driverless shuttle. You can actually find us on YouTube uh, at, under NIFGO. And uh, you can watch the full series of us building the shuttle from, from in our garage. Uh, since then, we moved out of our garage, and we ha we've moved into a space in Canton, Michigan, where we're doing uh, electric vehicle development, along with uh, s uh, several other uh, uh, vehicle-related uh, uh, hardware, software, and so forth. So this is an electric motor. Actually, this was actually built from a, a golf cart chassis. We've, we've re re restructured the chassis to actually fit this, and then we we uh, we outfitted with uh, sensors and uh, actuators to actually be able to to drive it autonomously um, or with an Xbox controller. Other cool vehicles we spotted include the Volkswagen ID Buzz electric three-row microbus along with the Rivian R1T and R1S electric vehicles. Bringing you the best of coast to coast, I'm Jason Rosidlo, reporting from the 2023 Detroit Auto Show.